four, three, two, one, ignition, lift off. T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has launched on its 17th mission for the first time in SpaceX's history. The next major milestone we are waiting for is max Q. This will be the moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure and peak mechanical stress on the rocket. That's set to occur T plus one power. minute to flight, about 10 seconds away from max Q. And there we have passed through Max Q. Next milestone coming up is a sequence of events starting at T plus 2 minutes 26 seconds into flight. That's when we will see first stage main engine cutoff or MECO, immediately followed by first and second stage separation and the ignition of the MVAC engine, also known as second engine starter, SES 1. Nominal trajectory. You heard their call out that the M chill of the MVAC engine this is about a minute before its ignition has now begun. Falcon 9 continuing on a nominal trajectory towards orbit. Two minutes into flight, now passing through 5,000 kilometers an hour, 40 kilometers in altitude. We are 20 seconds away from that main engine cutoff. Listening for the call out. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we saw those sequence of events, Miko, stage sep, and MVAC ignition. We're now about 10 seconds away from the fairing deployment. This will be the first time those Starlink satellites are exposed to the vacuum of space. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we saw those fairings separate away, exposing those Starlinks to the vacuum. The next major milestone will be the first stage entry burn that was set to occur six minutes, ten seconds into flight. We'll be keeping close eye on the telemetry in the bottom left corner of your screen. Watch the speed and the altitude. That is when we will know that the first stage has reached its, uh, al uh, its apogee and is beginning its descent back down. Once we see that speed start to increase and that altitude decrease, that's the moment we will know apogee has been met. The second stage continuing on a nominal trajectory, now 125 kilometers in altitude, coming up to 9,500 kilometers an hour speed. We are two minutes away from that first stage entry burn. All vehicles, nominal trajectory. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad. Here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. We're glad to have you joining us here. We're now four minutes, 30 seconds into today's flight of SpaceX Starlink 6-17, successfully launched from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This is the first time SpaceX has flown a Falcon 9 booster for the 17th time. They're currently rated up to 20 the last launch from Slick 40 was just four days ago, and we're now just over a minute away from this first stage uh, beginning its entry burn. You can see there its altitude now descending and it's speed increasing, it meaning it has reached its apogee and is beginning its descent back down to Earth. Look up through the inner stage there of the first stage. Second stage continuing nominal trajectory, traveling over 12,000 kilometers an hour, 150 kilometers in altitude. The first stage now passed back through the Kármán line, now under 100 kilometers in altitude, coming up to 7,500 kilometers an hour. About 30 seconds, uh, excuse me, 60 seconds away uh, from that first stage entry burn beginning. Waiting for the call out of that first entry, first stage st entry startup watch that view on the left side of your screen
And we've had, we should have call out here of Seiko 1. And there was MVAC shut down being called out. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. And we can see those Merlin engines have reignited on the first stage, slowing it down, now passing through 55 kilometers in altitude, cutting its speed now by about 1,000 kilometers and increasing as it descends towards the drone ship. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there's confirmation of a shutdown Stage of that entry FTS burn. Is saved. We now are going to have that first stage kind of falling through the sky for about a minute and a half. Landing burn set to begin eight minutes, six seconds into flight. Landing about 20 seconds later. Deployment set to begin uh, occur one hour, two minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. So you'll want to follow them over on X or us via social media for confirmation of that deployment. We're now about 30 seconds away from that landing burn. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Landing burn has started up. Keep an eye out for the drone ship coming into view. make it fun x decided to uh go to sleep there for a moment and we've lost quality but they're going for a landing here and touchdown of falcon 9 after completing its 17th mission for the first time and i don't think you could have got that much more centered uh, on the drone ship there that's going to do it for us live from our TOP Canada studio. My name's Zach. We're next time because space is better together. Good night.